Symbionic Titan is an American animated action science fiction television series created by Gendy Tartakovsky, Brian Andrews, and Paul Rudish for Cartoon Network. The series focuses on a trio made up of the alien princess Alana, the strict, but rebellious soldier Lance, and the robot Octus. The three are able to combine to create the titular Symbionic Titan. A preview of the series was first shown at the 2009 San Diego ComicsCon International, and further details were revealed at Cartoon Network's 2010 Upfront. The series premiered on September 17, 2010, and ended on April 9, 2011. Cartoon Network initially ordered 20 episodes, Tartakovsky had hoped to expand on that, but the series was not renewed for another season, as the show did not have any toys connected to it. While Symbionic Titan has never been released to DVD in the United States, all 20 episodes were available for purchase on iTunes and the Windows Store. On October 7, 2012, reruns of the series began airing on Adult Swim's Toonami block along with the 2011 television series of Thundercats. As of 2015, Cartoon Network has written off Symbionic Titan for financial reasons. Topic Overview Builders An exciting hybrid of high school drama and giant robot battles. Symbionic Titan features the adventures of three beings from the planet Galiluna who crash land on Earth while attempting to escape their war-torn world. The series follows the lives of Lance, voiced by Kevin Toms, Alana, Tara Strong, and Octus, Brian Posehn, two alien teens and a robot in the form of humanoids who arrive on Earth, an identical planet to Galiluna, while fleeing an evil general who has taken over their home planet with the help of monstrous creatures called Mutradi. The three main characters include Alana, princess of the royal family, Lance, a dark-hearted but capable soldier, and Octus, a bio-cybernetic robot, all of whom must now blend into everyday life in Sherman, Illinois. Posing as high school students, Lance and Octus work to conceal Princess Alana from General Modular Don Leslie and his hideous space mutants sent to kill the sole heir of Galiluna. When called into battle, the Galilunans are outfitted with individual armor that provides more than ample protection. It is when the gravest of danger appears that Octus activates the symbionic defense program and he, Alana, and Lance unite, heart, body and mind, and come together to form the spectacular cyber giant Symbionic Titan. Topic production series Co-creator Gendy Tartakovsky, known for creating Dexter's Laboratory and Samurai Jack, drew inspiration from many sources. He grew up with mecha anime series from the 1970s and 1980s like Speed Racer, Macross and Voltron and states, For whatever reason, I have always loved the idea of kids driving giant robots. His biggest influence were John Hughes movies like Sixteen Candles and The Breakfast Club as well as 1980s pop culture, but the relationship between the two teenage leads was also inspired by Pazu and Shita, the two leads in Hayao Miyazaki's Castle in the Sky. An episode of Samurai Jack with a similar plot, Jack and the Flying Prince and Princess having two aliens and a robot fleeing to seek help for their planet, may have also provided inspiration. Tara Strong voiced the princess in said episode as well. He came up with Octus and the high school setting first and then later together with co-creators Paul Rudish and Brian Andrews added Alana and Lance as protagonists. The creators of the show took a long time to develop the female lead, Princess Alana. A positive strong female character is something I've always wanted to create, Tartakovsky said. Tartakovsky called Symbionic Titan the most challenging project I have ever done. Despite airing on Cartoon Network, Tartakovsky said that he doesn't consider Symbionic Titan a kid's show. Topic. Episodes Topic <inaudible> Cancellation On March 29, 2011, it was reported that Symbionic Titan has been cancelled due to being unable to acquire a toy license. 
On September 22, 2014, it was revealed on Adult Swim's Tumblr that both Beware the Batman and Symbionic Titan were written off by the network. In a 2018 interview, Tartakovsky revealed that he and his crew had written ten more episodes before the show was cancelled. <laughs> Award nominations Symbionic Titan received two nominations at the 38th Annie Awards in 2011, Stephen DiStefano for Best Character Design in a Television Production and Scott Wills for Best Production Design in an Animated Television Production. <laughs> <laughs> Home media The entire series was released on DVD in Australia from Madman Entertainment on April 6, 2016, five years after the show's cancellation. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Possible revival. On February 9, 2017, Tartakovsky mentioned during an interview about the revival of his Samurai Jack TV show on Adult Swim, he also said that he could return to Cartoon Network and bring Symbionic Titan back on Cartoon Network to end the story of Season 1 and resolve its cliffhanger in the style of Guillermo del Toro's Pacific Rim. Alana and Octus made cameo appearances on the OKKO. OK Let's Be Heroes episode. Crossover Nexus. That was aired on October 8, 2018. Tara Strong reprises her role as Alana. Topic. See also. Megas XLR. Pacific Rim.